I want to see more WA restaurants using ingredients that are grown and produced right here. I think WA is pretty special. I'm Pete Manifest, and I'm heading into the kitchens of some of Perth's best. Oh, this is where it all happens. But look at the size of that. Let's go get cooking. Not too hot for you here, is it? All of By West Eat Best members. It does taste better. We're showcasing what WA has to offer. And all have made the pledge. That sings WA to me. To ensure their menus are at least 70% West Australian. It's just good to stay local. And local means fresh. I'm here at Greenhouse Perth to see Chef Brendan Pratt. G'day Chef. Hey mate, how are you? He's doing some cool stuff with local produce and I'm here to check it out. This is um, local organic wheat from the wheat belt. We grind it ourselves uh, in our flour mill. So you make your own flour? Yeah, we use it for our batters and our muffins. It's fruit bread. Oh yum. So what you got in here, Brendan? Some pretty nice potatoes, WA potatoes. Raw blues? Raw blues, yep. Just been cooked? Mm. Just been cooked, oh, yeah. Mm. Some nice chilies from one room. That's awesome. And, yeah. and they're in season right now. Mm. Yeah. Some really nice Baldivis eggs. 60 k south of Perth. Great that we can use that. It's just up the road. It's about fresh fresh. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful Fremantle octopus. Beautiful stuff. I was really lucky to be able to go out in the boat and saw how they do it. And they really put some hard yards in. So it's really good to be able to do something like this. Some good justice and really look after the product. We're going to make chagra octopus, knock jam and green chilli mayo. I'm going to make a mayo. That's one thing I can do. A couple of bad Ivis eggs there. Yeah. Uh, we're going to make the mayonnaise with some rice vinegar. Yeah, just a dash for these. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. We're just going to whack a load of this green chilli puree with yeah. beautiful fresh West Australian coriander. So now it's more of a dressing, really. Yeah. It's really good that we get to use these chilies from WA, especially for this dish that we're doing. Normally um, you would use bird's eye chilies or something like that, but they do come with packed with a heat. And the good thing about these is the flavour is just so fresh and so great because it hasn't had to travel far. The fish sauce in, sugar, garlic, and then the rice wine vinegar. You're going to chuck this straight onto the stove. I can do that. Great. Thanks, Pete. That's when I'm milk that sugar, I think. Nice fresh limes. Juice coming out. Add the chilies to it as well. Nice dressing finish there. I'm just going to trim up this octopus. So it's just been sous vide with some ginger, some garlic and oil. Six hours at 70 degrees. It's still quite firm and that's just going to loosen up a little bit when we put that onto the char grill. We want to get that nice sort of barbecue sort of flavour to it. That's kind of WA thing as well. Chuck it on the barbie. Just get them on there. <laughs> a little bit of oil on there. Just, just get, get that of, smoke going on. Yeah. Throw in it bowl. in. Throw it in the bowl. Knock germs. Put some of this on the bottom. Hockey on. I don't want those. <laughs> I'll get the last piece. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. And then, just, just to finish, some of that nice coriander. Fresh, local, WA. That, that sings WA to me. I took my piece. Oh, yeah. Mm, yum. That's the best non-Greek octopus I've ever tasted. <laughs> it's so yum. 